I had a comment on a previous video that I thought was very interesting. It's something I don't know that I was aware of, but it shows some of the power of these scientific calculators. So specifically, this was the problem that I was solving. So we were doing a definite integral and I was looking at how long it took these different calculators to solve it. And when you do this on the TI, you get something approximate or around this number, 7.6404. But what if you wanted to solve a different problem and you wanted to say, well, wait, what A value, what upper limit would give this same uh, integral or the area under the curve equal to five? So here we know we want to get an area of five and we're curious what upper bound would produce that. It's like, that's an interesting question and there's no easy way to solve this without uh, numerical methods, you know, that I know of. So what's amazing is these calculators will do this um, and I will demonstrate for you now. So here's the, um, here's the answer we got when we gave the upper limit of 2 pi. But let's go into number solver here. You have to clear this on both sides every time. And enter our integral. For my upper bound, I'm going to put an x. I'm going to give it a guess. I know it's less than 2 pi, so let's go with how about 1 and a half pi? That seems reasonable. All right, so we're saying x is somewhere around 4.7. Solve it. And this is really going to take a while on this calculator, I believe. Okay, that took an amazingly long time, but it found the answer, or at least it found an answer. We could check and see if it's right. And let's do a definite integral from zero to what we found, 4.1841, and we gotta type this thing in again. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me be smart. Here you go, here's an advantage of this calculator. Go back up till you find where you just did it and change your numbers. I don't like this jog or uh, d-pad very much. It's not particularly, um, I don't know. It doesn't have a real positive feel to it. But you know, it works. So what are you gonna do? All right, 4.1841, let's see what it does. It'll take some time to do this too, but not as long. All right, so there's our answer. The definite integral from 0 to 4.1841 gets us really, really close to 5. So the area under the curve equals to 5 when you give it that upper bound. That's really cool that this calculator can do that. Um, I'm going to try it on the prime just for a comparison, but there aren't a lot of calculators out there, supposedly, that are able to do this sort of thing. So thanks to the commenter that pointed that out. It's an interesting one. And uh, we'll leave it at that, except I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna add the prime in here just so we can see it go to work and see its speed. Assuming I can figure out how to make it do it. Okay. Okay, well I thought I would do this on the prime, but after fighting with it for a little bit here, I'm not able to figure out how to do it and I'm sure someone out there can do it. You might have to use cast mode. I'm not sure. What I do know is that when I went into apps and tried doing it on the solver, and I tried it two different ways. I tried using A as the upper bound, and I tried doing X as the upper bound, and neither worked for me. So perhaps one of you smart prime users out there could help a brother out. So not able to show you. I wager, though, that number one, this calculator can do it. 
and number two, that it will do it quicker than the TI-36X Pro. Till next time, adios.